Kuate ane sete ane ababa ole ate na soto ene kule amusade. My Lord and my God, Father, Lord God of glory, you did not give me Father precious so that she will end up Father marrying a wrong person. My Lord and my God, I did not marry to a wrong person. Father, you led me, Lord God, Father, towards the right person. Therefore, Father, I pray and I'm asking, Lord, Baba, the very person, oh Lord, Baba, that you have ordained, Father, which you have ordained for my daughter. Lord God Almighty, I pray and I'm asking at the fullness of time, Father Baba Rote Setenapa, the Quitena Pa, Ugia Tennis, Utena Papa, El Wikutena Papa Yade in a Kuria, Alikiade in a Sundo ne Kuria, Alea Kue Done Kuria, Rakusedia, Ogia Tenambo Sundo ne Sedia, Olia Tene Mosendia, Ogia Tene Mosendia, Olikiado, Ogia Getu ne Kuria Mosundo, Alele Kutena Kuria, Asia Dena Kuria. Ogiatena to Yamos on the Nakiria and Sedia, or Lele Cutena Papaya, or Lele Curie to Nequedo, or Lele Cutena Cuedo. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The one who loves God, who serves God. In the name In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to appreciate God and I want to give glory to God that one of the testifiers is already. Uh, around to tell us how God led her, to share with us how God Amen. led her. And this is to encourage Jesus. us that if God could do it for this, our sister, God can do it for us as well. Yes. There's nothing like impossibility. And there's nothing like time has gone. Time has not gone. And I want to thank God that uh, uh, She's around to share with us how God led her. And if I were you, connect yourself to that testimony as she'll be sharing. While our host will also come, and of course, I believe God has a word for us through her. Amen. That's our, our host from Canada. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to Thank pray you, the last prayer point now. I refuse my marital destiny to be delayed. I refuse my marital destiny to be delayed in the name. Yes. I refuse my marital destiny to be delayed. That's the last prayer point. Yes. I refuse my marital destiny to be delayed. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. I refuse the marital destiny of my daughter precious to be delayed. Delayed in the name of Jesus. I call I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus because the Lord has set me free and I am free in the day. So, therefore, I say to you, spirit of delay, give way in my life now. I refuse to be delayed maritally in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be delayed maritally in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be delayed in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Kataria Gasatu Roba Shata Legi Liba. Magi city libo kutoru bakatanda leba liya makasimbe. Lega shata la garabali yakaturu. Laba kuturu bababa santa leba tai. Le prama katande leba shede leke telia. La libo. And in the name of Jesus. Again on this platform, in the name of Jesus, you power that want to delay the matter destiny of Abiola of Palaye, in the name of Jesus, we destroy you. You power that want to delay the matter destiny of Joy Oluchi, we destroy you in the name of Jesus. You power that want to delay the matter destiny of joy, Alessa, we destroy you in the name of Jesus. You power that want to delay the matter destiny of pious, we destroy you in the name of Jesus. You power that want to uh, that want to delay the, the matter destiny of uh, Allah Duni, we, we destroy you in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against, oh Lord, Father. Powers that want to delay 
the mortal destiny of Waimi, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Powers that want to delay the mortal destiny of Isi, Isi Yoma, and Ikene. I command in the name of Jesus those powers to be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Satan, Papaya, then I saw Tonapa Lukiado. Maelia Goria Bosanto Nakulia Bosante Napa Bayado. Father, in heaven powers that want to delay the mother destiny of our children on this platform. We that have come to represent our children, we that have come to stand in the gap for our children, powers that want to delay their mother destiny. We command those powers now in the name of Jesus to be destroyed. We destabilize and we destroy their, their, their strongholds over our mother, over the mother destiny of our children. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. We destroy them in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our Father, we say thank you very much, O Lord, for this opening prayer. Lord, we have come, O Lord, to pray to secure our individual marital destinies. We that are yet to be married. And that oh, is why we have come, oh Lord. Father, and some of us that also came to, to stand in the gap for our children so that they will not miss it in life. So that they will not miss it in life. Father in heaven, Lord, we pray that let heaven open and register every prayer that we have prayed and the ones that we are yet to pray. Lord, let heaven open, Father, and register every prayer point, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And any of our children on this platform, Lord God Almighty, that are destined to marry this year, even though they have not yet discover who to get married to because what you cannot do does not exist father in heaven we are looking up unto you we are praying father because we are still in the month of october and it's possible for for whoever that is destined to get married this year to still get married this year it is possible because you did it for out of these two sisters that are coming to testify one of them the man showed up in October and December, she got wedded. Father, it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. And because it is possible, Father, we connect, oh Lord, Father, those that are already on this platform, Father, and they are destined, and they are destined to get married this year. Father in heaven, we are asking, we enter into, into, into your anointing. We enter into your power right now. We enter into your many Potence, Father, and we connect ourselves, Father, and we connect this individual, this individual into that omnipotence of the Almighty God to make it happen for them in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Can I hear your powerful amen? Can Amen. I hear your powerful Amen? Amen. Amen. I say, can I hear your powerful Amen? Amen. I am telling you, what God cannot do does not exist. Any need that God cannot meet, that need does not exist. When Jesus went to the cross to die, he died so that he died in order to secure your destiny. And marriage is part of your marital is part of your destiny. Marriage is in the God has also packaged your marriage inside that destiny. And I want you to know: put your past behind you, brethren. Put your past behind you. Whatever you have done, it does not matter. God has forgiven you as long as you have given your life to Christ and you have said yes to Jesus. I am telling you, the blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary has washed away your past. Your future, right? See, see your future before you. Look at your future. Look at your future. Look at your future. Look at your future. Your, future. your destiny is, is wonderful. Your destiny is glorious, and your, and your mother's destiny is wonderful. Even though you have missed it in the past, in the day of marriage, does not mean 
does not mean that God does not have someone for you. I tell you, God still has the first best, not second best. God does not have second best. Hallelujah. Am I making a point? Am I making a point? God does not have a second best. God has first best for you. Whether, once you realize your mistake, that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. And I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever God has for you, that particular individual, whether it's in the US or it's in Canada or, or it's in UK, the Lord God Almighty is going to arrange a, uh, uh, is going to cause a kind of a, uh, 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 a kind of a geographical rearrangement that will bring the two of you together as he did for Rebecca and, Eli uh, uh, and, uh, and Isaac, as he did it for um, uh, Ruth and uh, Ruth and Boaz. So shall it be unto you as well in the name of Jesus. The Lord knows how to connect it. The Lord knows how to bring that man to where you are or to bring you to where that man is. Yes. Yes. And the Lord will do it. The anointing of the almighty God is present to make it happen for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. In so, Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's listen to this music. This is your word that you've been waiting for all night. Darwin, where are you? How many know that God is able to do exceedingly? Abundantly above. Hallelujah. How many believe it tonight? Somebody turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, be faithful. Tell somebody else, be faithful. Y'all ready? Somebody shout tonight. He's 
Because he will not give up on you. And do not give in to that situation. Because our God is, is able to bring you out of that situation. You and God cannot be stranded. Yes. yes. You and God cannot be stranded. Brethren, just put that in your mind. Don't give up on God. Because he is able. Thank Father, you. we thank you. Thank because you. you are able. Yes, Lord. You are able. We are not giving in to our situation mm -hmm. because you and us can never be stranded. Nothing, mm -hmm. when Jesus was here on earth, he, he, there was no time earth. or no, there was no time that he was stranded. And now Jesus is in us. How can we be stranded in our, in our marital life? It's not possible. Our children in their marriage, they will not be stranded. In the name Amen. of Jesus, all Amen. these our brethren on this platform yet to be married, they are not going to be stranded in life concerning their marriage. In the name of Jesus, Amen. also our children too that we have come to represent, we have come to stand for. They them they too they will not be stranded in life. In the name of Amen. Jesus, and Amen. we that have married, our marriage will not be stranded. We will move forward in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We want to appreciate everyone that logged in from Europe, from Canada, from Nigeria here, and also from US. We want to appreciate you all. And I'm trusting God that as we're about to call uh, one of the testifiers now, Adiola Ozegbe, Mrs. Adiola Ozegbe, kindly omit yourself. Adiola Ozegbe because you are going to uh, 
uh, start your testimony. Uh, we are going to share your testimony. Uh, we are going to share your testimony now of what the Lord did for you concerning how God led you. We want to know. Hallelujah. So, brethren, just get ready because after that, then our host will come up. Uh, it's like the second testifier has not logged in. And of course, you know, we cannot wait. But we are trusting God that God is able to use even the, the testimony of this, our sister, Adela uh, uh, and also the testimony of the host. God will use these two testimonies to minister to us mightily in the name of Jesus. All right. With the joy of the Lord, I call on our sister from Nigeria, Mrs. Adiola Ozeigbe. Over to you now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, I thank God for this um, privilege to share my testimony. And um, before I start, I want I just want to appreciate God for um our dear Pastor Austin and um Pastor Ayeni. The two of them stood by me so much for years in prayers, in counsel, in different ways. I appreciate the, their their efforts and the time. Come rainfall, come sunshine when it was convenient, when it was not convenient. Times that went to the camp, times that went to the mountain, times that he came over to the house to pray with me, times that I went over, I appreciate God for them. They are so wonderful. It's a very good opportunity for me to say thank you to them again. Um, each effort in prayer, I see that was not wasted because a bottle that has been closed tightly, each effort, each time we put effort in prayers, there's, a, they, 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 there's something happening. Though at times we may not see it because uh, we've not gotten to the end result, and we may not know that something is happening. But indeed, eventually I saw that each time we prayed, something happened. Um, finally, when, it's, um, when the journey was going to start eventually, it happened in church. And I want to also encourage my single sisters and brothers that, like the song said, don't give up on God because sometimes it looks like nothing is happening and we are so um, discouraged, but don't give up on him because at the end of it all, I just, oh, I just kept saying, God, is this how simple you are? And I've been at this thing for years. Is, th is it this simple to, for you to do? But he understands why things happen to us, especially we Christians. And he has answers to it. We, we may not have answers to everything, but God does. So I want to encourage my single sisters and brothers, don't be discouraged. Even if it looks as if things are, have not happened the way you want it, but don't be discouraged. Keep at it and hold on to your faith because that faith, that personal faith of yours will eventually work. That part of the scripture that says that the just shall live by their faith really made more sense to me after I got married because there was now a day, I got married in 2018. Sorry, in 2019. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think I'm mixing things up. In 2018, sorry, I got married in 2018, but the journey started actually in 2017. There was a day in I was in church, and that was in October 2017. And a word of knowledge came from the pastor that was preaching her, the pastor of the church, and he said that day it was on a Sunday, and he said he, he gave that word of knowledge that. All the singles in the church that um, we should start preparing for our marriage because it's going to happen sooner than we expect. And if, if we don't start preparing for it, we may not even have time to prepare. And he said, all the singles, and it's 
it was a large church, a large congregation. So when he said that, that word, brothers and sisters, came to me as a very strong grammar. I looked at him and he said, all the singles, a large church with so many singles. I looked at him, I said, I'm part of this. The word came to me strongly as a rhema. I took it so personal. I said, really? This is it. I held on to that word in October 2017. And I began to run with the word. I told myself that God, this covers me. Uh -uh. I'm part of the singers in the church. And he said, all. Oh. And since that day, since that day in October 2017, <laughs> I said, God, it is either you did not speak to this man, you just made it up, or you said it and eventually go back on your word. It's going to be either of the two, because this one, <laughs> so I took it so personal. And from that day, <laughs> when we got to the, that was in October, when we got to November, uh, I, I, I contacted a tailor. He said, I need to sew my wedding, my wedding dress. Oh, she was so excited with me. She said, really? <laughs> I said, yes. She said, ah, when am I getting married? <clears throat> I told her I was getting married in December. And brethren, as at this time in October, I was not in any relationship. In fact, the last relationship I had, I had to quit it because of uh, my genotype and the person's genotype. I'm AS and the person too was AS and I wasn't going to move on with that because my immediate elder sister is SS. So I needed nobody to preach that to me. In fact, that was one of the reasons too that I, I, I got so late because I was really conscious of it. I wasn't going to make that fall into that um, mistake in the name of faith or whatever. Not that I did not have men coming my way, but anyway, that's not even the thing. So I, 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 I told, I, as at that time, November, I got the word in October, November, I told my tailor I, was, I needed to sew my wedding dress. And she asked me when, I said in December. Meanwhile, I was not even in any relationship, but I just, I just told myself that uh -uh, this word of knowledge, either God did not speak through this man, he just made it up, which I know wasn't the case, or God spoke it, and then he will go back on it. That's why, that is the only reason why this word will not work for me. So I told the lady, we began the process of sewing the, the wedding dress. I, 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 I sewed for my little bride as well, my niece. And in fact, my tailor was so excited. I was also excited, but I knew within me that I was acting out faith. The, the, the dress got ready. <clears throat> the dress got ready in December. And she was like, what, what particular date of December? I told her I was going, because she, she was eager to dress me up on the day. I told her I was going to get back to her. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It was not funny because it, it sounds Hallelujah. like it, but it wasn't a funny thing because, <laughs> because she was really, she believed it. And even me too, I believed it, but I knew I was acting out faith. So December came, December, in fact, there was a time I met with a pastor, an old pastor. We met in a program at Desta. It was even Pastor Austin that took me, that invited me for that leadership program. He wanted to start, um, the, the, the pastor was from Webby. He wanted to start, um, to start the normal marriage counseling again. I told him there was no need for it. He said, really, God has done it. I said, yes. It said when? I said in December. And that time we're already in November. I said in December. I said, oh, really? He said, I should give him the, when is the, I said, they shouldn't wait. I'll give him the details. As in, that was, that, 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 that was how to, to do it. Meanwhile, this thing, I did not even tell my mom because I knew, I, I did not even make her see the wedding dress because if she did, <laughs> her excitement, she wouldn't know, understand. She, I knew my mom would not be able to handle it. Oh, she, 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 she would be so excited and think <laughs> uh, there, there was already a man in the picture when there was actually nothing. But one thing I, I observed is that sometimes God is just waiting for us to act out what we've been professing, we believe. The moment he sees that faith, 
That's why the Bible says, even if it is as small as a mustard seed, the moment it sees us act out that faith, then it begins to align things to work in, in, in line with bringing that thing to pass because that was the case. When we got to December, that very church where I worship, it's a large church. The GO people have been making efforts to say they want to see the GO personally. I never, because I just believed, I, I just believe what would make me because it's a church that caters for, that caters majorly for people in need of children. So I, I felt, well, I, I wasn't pregnant. So I, I, I didn't even have the, 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 the reason to, to, for, for them to make arrangements. It, it was even difficult to see. But that December, for the first time in the past six years that I've been worshiping in that church, the pastor just made it open that. He understood the fact that people had been making effort to see him personally and did not. But now he's going to do something. He's going to give, um, create time for people to call him and begin to uh, and talk to him personally. <clears throat> that was in December. After my wedding dress had been sewn, I said, "Really?" So, so the time he made it a midnight call. So, and then I, oh, I think on Fridays, midnight call. I think from ten to four, and calls were always coming in from different parts of the world. So it was easy. It was difficult, rather very difficult to, to to get him. But I kept at him. Before the end of that December, one of the Fridays. I was able to contact him. I think that Friday was, we even had a vigil because they usually have the vigil <laughs> at my house. I think that Friday we had a vigil, but I was doing it together. <laughs> Nobody knew because I knew what, 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 what I was doing. And there was just a particular Friday that I was able to get him. Okay, I don't think we had vigil that night, that Friday. And I was able to get him for the first time in the past six years. And I just explained things to him. I didn't, ex I didn't tell him about me sewing a dress or whatever. I just told him I'd been trying to um, get married and um, this is what has been happening. And he began to take me up in prayers. And he took me up in prayers. And he became interested in my case as well. Come January, I just, I, the word of knowledge came in October. Um, I sold my wedding dress in faith in November, December. I was able to reach um, the pastor and the pastor said, if you can reach me five different times, then believe that whatever you, you are reaching me for is done. That one also, I held on to it. I held so tightly onto it, very good. In January, God's so good. I was just coming back from church that day and the, my husband, my wonderful husband that I eventually married, was also coming back from church and we just met in the neighborhood, in, 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 in my area, he just walked up to me and he was like, oh, are you coming from my church, from his church? I said, how can you think I'm coming from your church? I'm not coming from your church. So we just, we just chatted a bit and then that was all, one street. And then we parted. He didn't take my number and I didn't request for his but because that was one thing about me. I never showed any man I was desperate. And that's another thing I want to just encourage, especially as single ladies. Don't, don't show that you're desperate before men. Because if you do, most of them will take advantage of it. I was desperate before God, but never before any man. Because I, I've seen a lot, seen a lot, seen a lot. When I say seen, seen a lot, in fact, at times I'll tell myself that I, I think I can write a book about what I suffered in the hands of men as in when none will really suffer but what, what what i heard from men i could wet my my pillow with tears throughout the night but the following morning if i come in contact with a man that is giving me silly conditions i call them silly conditions because sometimes you meet a man and they'll be telling you oh you have to come over and sleep in my house for the weekend that's how i'm going to know the kind of person you have i look at it really i have to come over to your house to sleep that, of course now so how am, I, how am i going to know the kind of person you have i met there was sometime i met, I met so a pastor linked me with, up with a, a brother in the church and the brother was telling me that i'm going to give you my number he didn't take mine he gave me his and told me to call him 
I wasn't telling me I, I'm a busy person. So when you call me, let me know you're the one calling. I looked at it. Is, 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 has it gotten this bad? I told myself. I never, I never made one call. I go back to the pastor and told him, look at what he said. I can't do that. So I want to encourage the single ladies. Don't show that you're desperate before men because they will, they, they will just take advantage of it. So this, my husband, he didn't ask for my number and I did not as well. So we parted, that was in January. So January went after that day. It was later he was telling me that he made the greatest mistake that day by not collecting my number. And after that day, he had been waiting, waiting at the spot to, for me to pass again subsequent Sundays, which I never did. I don't know why. <laughs> so that was in, 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 in January. When we got to January ended, I, I never even thought it could be him because he didn't even look like it that day to me because I'm a tall lady <laughs> and he's really shorter than me. So and for that reason, Sandra, he didn't really look at it. But I, at, at the same time, I don't, I don't disqualify any man. I'm open, I'm open, and 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 I and. But when you begin to tell me things I cannot do, I make I'm blunt. I, I don't compromise that. So January went, in my church, we pay first fruits. I paid my first fruits. And I was like, God, please, please don't. Because even the tailor kept it. I, the, In December, he called me. It's like there's something. But if I got tired of calling me, I was like, God, I know I cannot be put to shame. I know I cannot be. It was only my sister that knew about my wedding dress. And even a, a daughter that I used as the niece, as the uh, little bride, the girl was growing quite tall. And the, the dress was almost going to be, be, be short for her. I was like, God, I'm not going to be put to shame about this. When we got to February, the pastor preached again and said, make a vow to God. This time, do things differently. Pay your vow. Don't wait until it is um, until God does it before you, before you pay your own part. That, that has always been the norm. In February again, I, I, I was taking desperate moves. In February, I made a vow. In January, I paid, I paid a, a, a first fruits. The entire salary, still trying to get over that. We got to February again. I paid a huge amount for vow, and I and I and I just remitted it. I said, God, I am committing you to this. I am committing you to this because I can't be put to shame. I can't. I've, I've been telling people, acting out in faith because I believe you. And when we got to, I did that in February. Meanwhile, the pastor of the church was still praying with me. Brother Austin and Brother Ipa, Brother Amy were still praying with me. In fact, there was a particular day, I remember. <laughs> those times, during the time I was still taking those desperate moves, we were having prayers at home. Brother Amy looked at me and he said, he saw me. He saw me. He saw me on my wedding dress. <laughs> he did not understand because he didn't know <laughs> the moves had been taken. I didn't tell any of them. He didn't know. He said he saw me in my wedding dress. Ah, that day, I said, God, <laughs> I knew you were not going to fail. I just know it. In March, in March again, I came in contact with my husband. And this time around, it was not even in the neighborhood. I was around my workplace. And he said, he just sighted me. And my workplace wasn't that close to, to the house. He said, he just sighted me. I was at the bank. He said he just cited me. He was in the, the opposite um, area. He said he cited me. It's like, ah, ah, this this lady now that has been waiting, waiting now on Sundays for her to pass in the neighborhood. Ah, ah. And I just see her like this. And he walked up to me. Do you know I didn't even recognize him? I didn't recognize because I was at ATM post and he too went to the to the to another ATM. Meanwhile, I didn't know he didn't have he wasn't there to collect money. I collected my money, I was about going, walked up to me. I was like, what was this kind of thing? Because in, in Nigeria, when people just walk up to you up from ATM, you begin to be suspicious. So he walked up to me and he was asking, Don't you remember me? I said, Oh, sorry, I don't. And then he was trying to remind me, I was the person you saw, you met. And I said, okay, really? 
that day, he wasn't even looking more like it. <laughs> the first time I saw him was coming mm-hmm. from church. That was it. This second time, because he works with auto workshop, and this second time, maybe I just gone to get some spare parts and the stuff, but he wasn't even looking more like it. But that day, he wasn't going to, to, to miss taking my number. So he collected my number the start day, and that was how the whole thing started. In that was in 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 March, and we started the process just like play. And in July, we got married. And then I look at it, God, really. In fact, in His church, they were not going to comply because they said the time frame was too short. We needed to have minimum of six months of courtship before they could sign anything. Um, so. So, so the, the documents they were supposed to sign from his church were not signed, were not signed. My pastor had to tell them, bring it over. My pastor signed for me, <laughs> signed, uh, assigned leaders in the church to sign his own parts, to do what they were supposed to do in his own church. I seem to tell you how God made things to work out. And in, and, and in July, in fact, even the finance was going to be another strong obstacle. There was just no money. I told myself that this one, I, it, whichever way it happens, it will happen. I will do it. I, I was, I, I, anyhow, I will get married. It's, money was not going to be an hindrance to me. So in July, we did the court's wedding and we did a, a just a, a private church wedding. There was even no reception because the money was just was not just available. But I thank God. I thank God because here we are. The guy I marry, I, marry, I married is such a wonderful man. People from his place, people used to say, ah, they are, they are, they are this, they are that, they are, they are this. But I can say, after three years of marriage, I can I can confess that he's even more patient. I thought I was a patient person. But marriage has unfolded, unfolded so many things. Is even more patient, five times more patient than me. He handles me with love and maturity. I really want to appreciate God because, and then I look at it that God, is this how simple it could have been? Because I attend other big churches, join their singles fellowship, all for me to get connected by time. And nothing really came out. And just in my neighborhood, right in the place I live. And this guy too has been there for years. How come we never crossed paths? How come it was when I I sold my wedding dress? How come it was when I, I took that step that this, because I was born and bred in my area. I've lived there for over, I got married at the age of 38. I've lived there all my life. This guy, though it was not born there, but at least the past six, seven years, he'd been there. How come we never crossed paths? How come it was when, after I took that step, then that's part of the scriptures that said, the just shall live by faith. I, I, I began mm. to understand that. It's enough of your individual faith. Don't give up on God. Keep trusting him. Don't show your desperate before, before, before men. Don't be discouraged. Even when you when you cry, come up again and keep trusting God. Hold God by His word; He will never fail. He will never Amen. fail. This, this Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Is God not wonderful? Great. <laughs> is God not wonderful? Is great. Honestly, God is great. I have learned so many things, and I'm so blessed, and I'm also encouraged, even for my daughter. You can say, hmm, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I believe our sisters and our brothers uh, uh, who are on, they are listening. And by the grace of God, we are going to make this available on the YouTube so that to and then post it there for people to go and watch and listen that God is still in the business of connecting. Can you see what he said? I, I want you to look at God. You can see God in action. The moment she took the step of faith, heaven also started acting. He said, God 
He says, say, sometimes God is the one waiting for us. We think that we are the one waiting for God, but actually God is the one waiting for us. So Austin, make that move. Take that step. Take that step of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honestly, all that she said, I bless God because I was part of the process. I remember when she brought, uh, she introduced that brother to me, that you have to go and meet one of my pastors, so you have to go through him. The guy, uh, the guy came and after, you know, a kind of uh, scrutinizing him, even me myself, within me, I said, no, yes, it is a yes. I, I, I never doubted it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I think that he, she said that really um, that I'm taking. He said, he said, be desperate before God and not before man. Very, very important. Our sisters, please take note of that. Don't show yourself that you are desperate before man. Otherwise, they'll take advantage of you. Yes, I pray that God will help you are a sister, so that you would not be too desperate. I remember a particular lady who came to me for counseling because she was so desperate. And in the, in the house of God, I'm, I don't want to mention the name of the church, in the house of God, Pentecostal church, the man will sleep with her, commit, the man, the so called brother will commit uh, immorality with her. After that, will will dump her. She was another one again. Because of that, desperation that one would demand for sex and because in the name of say i don't want to lose her i don't want to lose him and after they have met after the guy will have his way you know she will be dropped as i'm speaking to you now no uh no connection no husband so it does not work but look mm. at her I, I want to thank god that mm. in spite of all those men that came but she stood her ground if you yeah. honor God, God will honor you. Hey, no. Satan, uh, Papa. I'm telling you, I know about her very well. Sometimes I will ask her, come to my house for vigil. You know, sometimes she'll be weeping. I say, don't worry. I say, God will do it. I look at, and today she's smiling. God gave yeah. her, God gave her her own choice. God will give you your choice in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Your choice by destiny. Not really your choice, but I mean God's choice for you. God will give you will not miss your Isaac as she now. You can Amen. see, he said, although initially she never looked like it. Even I myself, when I showed up to my wife, I never looked like it. I never looked like it. But I thank God today. Now you can see my wife. I, I bless God. Hallelujah. You will not miss it. Amen. Then you will not miss it. I say you will not miss it. Amen. Our children will not miss it in the Amen. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I will call on our host. Get ready, everybody, as our host will come up. Uh, I want to believe that she might want to use her video so that we all see her, her face, so that when she is talking, we, we can also see God's transformation. Hallelujah. Let me remove it so that it will be easy for her to put on her video so that we can see her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> By the grace of God, with the joy of the Lord, we call on our wonderful sister, uh, who's our host for today, all the way from Canada. Her name is... She's a minister of God. She's a chorister in our church. Her husband is a pastor. Anyway, she will tell us more. Her name is Elizabeth Eti. She's a wonderful sister to me. I don't joke with her. That's why I like to, you know, whenever I have the opportunity to showcase her, I always love to showcase her because she's also, she's someone that I can say she carry the glory of God. Just like the, the testifier, she too is another second testifier. Hallelujah. So, my dear sister Elizabeth A.T., Ni Edward Okoche, you can now unmute yourself. Over to you. 
Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to just say a big thank you for inviting me to, to this noble group. And I believe uh, my testimony is going to be my message tonight. And I trust the Lord that he's going to use it to bless all the singles on this platform in Jesus' name. Amen. How about your video? I did not prepare for video. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In, the, in that case, okay, no problem. So I will put back your picture. Okay. Okay, go okay. ahead. Let us pray. Our righteous Father, King of Glory, we thank you so much for this morning, this evening in Canada. We glorify you because you are God. We thank you for the testimony of our sister. What a wonderful testimony. Father, we just thank you because you have not changed. We thank you, Father, because you are still in the business of connecting, bringing two of your children together. Father, we say for this, we say, may your name, Lord, be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I hand over myself to you, Lord. I pray that self will be set aside. Father, I pray that my testimony, Lord, that is going to be like a message, Lord, I pray that you use it, oh Lord, to bless your children tonight, this morning, in Jesus' name. Thank you for that. You have answered for this. We ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for the testimony of our sister. And that shows that our God is a faithful God. He is still in the business of, you know, connecting, bringing two faithful people together. And uh, I want to let you people know that, uh, you know, when it comes to the will, when it comes to knowing God's will in marriage, the starting point is we having a relationship with God. That is the starting point. Having an, a relationship with God, be so close, that intimacy with God. Because if you don't have a relationship with God, how will you then seek to know his will? How do you then, you know, wants to do his will? So the starting point is for you to have a relationship with him. Take him, you know, his word, study his word, study his, everything concerning Christ. That is the starting point. You can't just start seeking the will of God. So I want to know the will of God. I want to know the will of God. No. It is you knowing him first. You having a relationship with him. By so doing, then you will know when he's leading you. Then you'll be able to understand his princess, his principle. And I pray that as we we'll start by knowing the Lord, every other thing will be added. Like I normally tell people, I say, you know what? To me, I tell people, I normally tell people, I say, seek it forth the will of God and every other thing will be added to you. Seek his will first. Then every other thing you're looking for in a man, it will be added to you. And that is my story also. I saw the will, the God's force, and every other thing I needed in a man, God added it to me. And today, I would say I am blessed. I can say today, the Lord Almighty have really you know, given me a man that I always tell people, I say he's the best man on earth. <laughs> because God <laughs> gave me his best. Hallelujah. So Amen. before I share my before I share my story, sisters and brother, first of all, I want to let you understand that you see, marriage, before you talk of you no know, marriage, marriage one, you have to be spiritually matured. Spiritually matured emotionally matured, 
mentally matured, physically matured. Because when you are not matured, you will not be able to handle things. So maturity is very, very key. Maturity is very, very important, okay? Then another advice I'm gonna give to the single, you know, before I start sharing my testimony, I'm gonna share my testimony too, but I need to let the, all our single brothers and sisters on this platform you know that, you see, please do not compare yourself to other people. Comparison is not, in fact, it should be totally cancelled, ruled out. Don't compare yourself to, oh, look at that, that brother or that sister. No, you are unique. If you have known the Lord, if you are genuinely saved, you are unique. So never you try to compare yourself to sister B, sister A, uh, brother B. No, do not. Because by the time you start comparing yourself, the Bible even told us, it said those that compare themselves, you know, what did they say? He said they are not wise. They are not wise. But we are wise women. We are wise uh, men. We don't compare. Because by the time you start comparing yourself, you take your, your eyes off the promises of God. And that means worries do not set in. You begin to get worried. You begin to get worried unnecessarily. So we need to realize that worry and doubt are not from God. If you're on this platform and you have a lot of worry and anxiety, doubt, to eat you up, it is not from God. Never. It is from the devil. Because you know why? God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. He never changes. And we know that in the Bible, a lot of people God have left. When you talk of Abraham, when Abraham was looking for, you know, seeking wife for Isaac, he prayed unto the Lord. That is there. Remember Uzziah? God also led him, you know, to look at that in Genesis chapter 24. He's there. Uzziah chapter 1, verse 2. You get the, what of a Joseph? Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, you know, when God took, came to Joseph in the dream to take Mary, you know, to be his wife. So God is, is, is faithful in his word. So please, brethren, single sister, single brother of this platform, please do not allow worry and doubt, you know, to eat you up. They are not from God. They are from the pit of hell. And, and those worries and doubt is for us to doubt the Lord. And I pray you will not doubt the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is faithful. God is faithful. He's faithful in his word. He's faithful in his promises. And those promises, they will never fail in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Then I want, sometimes we ask, I normally ask people, say, why do we see God's will? Why? Why I can't just marry that brother there that loves house? He's so handsome, looking good, dressed very well. What of that sister? She's so elegant. She dresses very well. She speaks well. She blah, 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 like that. Why can't I just marry that sister? So why do I still spend time to seek the will of God? Brethren, hmm. It's better we seek the will of God. Because you know why? In Isaiah chapter 55, he said, My thoughts are not what are not your thoughts. Because it is only God that knows everyone. You see that sister that you see on the, in the church, I look so quiet, walk gently as if she can't kill an aunt. That's the only thing you know about that sister. But guess what? God knew that sister. No in out. That brother does every time, hmm, you know, lepa, you know, dress very well, suit. I mean, you say, wow. Ah, look at that brother, that bobo. Ah, Prince Charming, everything. But guess what? God knows that brother. 
just like our pastor was praying that may God not lead us to somewhere, our daughter, to the, that, 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 that someone that at the end of the day will not take the life of our daughter. You will be a murderer. So wicked. But God knows. That's why we seek the will of God, brethren. We seek the will of God because we want his best. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is this because God knows those, he, he, you know, He knows everyone and He wants the best for us. As we seek it, that's why we seek the, the will of we seek His face, we seek the will of God because we don't want to miss it. Just like our pastor said, He said, You know, when you, you can miss every other thing and make heaven, brethren, but when you miss, miss, miss the will of God in marriage, hey, making heaven. Ah, it will be difficult because you won't have peace in that home. You won't have joy in that home because you miss the will of God. Why do we seek the will of God? Why? Why do we seek God's will in marriage? Because we want his best. Because we want his best. Because we want peace. Because we want joy. And at the end, because we want to make heaven. That's why we're seeking his will. And I pray, as we from tonight, begin to seek the will of God. I pray that the almighty God will lead us to that one that he has chosen for us and prepared for us in Jesus' name. We won't allow Amen. worry and anxiety to push us into a wrong hand in Jesus' name. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21, the Lord told us, and thy ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, what hmm. in hearing. Those are the ones that are seeking the will of God. You see, you will hear, you will hear it behind you, that this is the way, walk therein. Not every brother in that church would be a faithful husband. Not every hmm. sister in that church would be a faithful wife, a virtuous wife. No, not everyone. But only the Lord knows that one, that particular one that will complete you. Only God, that's why we seek his way, brethren. Only God knows that, but that brother. That's just like our sister said. Only God knows that brother that will bring joy into your life. That will make you a fulfilled woman. Only God knows that brother. Only God knows that woman. And that's why we seek his face. That's why we earnestly cry and say, God, lead me. Direct me. I don't want to lean on my own understanding. I don't just want to just just because that brother is handsome, just because that brother is rich, just because that brother is, you know, uh, whatever, has everything. No, he may have everything, but something may be lacking, which you need. Amen? Amen. Which will make you, a, a, I mean, a fulfilled woman, he may be lacking that thing. And you may not know, only God knows it. That's why we seek his will. That's why we don't just say yes to anyone that comes to us. No. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is still leading his, his, his people. He's still more in the business of leading his children, his children. My sister, please don't be carried away. Don't allow, like our sister said, don't be so desperate that you don't want to even pray and ask God. You just want to say, no, look at my age. I just want to get out of this line. I just want to get anyone and get married to. I don't care, I will hmm. face the consequence. Hey, sister, you won't face this, hmm. you can't. You hmm. can't, the, is, the consequence is dead. Have we not heard of many people that from the husbands are the ones that even took their lives. So don't be desperate. God is still in the business of leading his children. 
and he is going to do it for you as he's done it for us in Jesus' name. By the Amen. grace of God, like I said, my, my, my testimony is going to be my message tonight. Okay? I thank God. First of all, I gave my life to Christ. And I was serving the Lord faithfully. You know, serving the Lord faithfully, not even thinking of marriage. I was just focused in serving my God. Because my life was like, you know, it was given totally to him. But when it came to the time, I said, oh, marriage, marriage. I said, okay, let me begin to pray. And I began to pray, seeking God's face in marriage. God led me. I believe, you know, we all, can, we all make mistakes. I also, I mean, I was not mute. I made a mistake in my life too. Mute to, you know, not making mistakes. So I say yes to someone. I'm just sharing this testimony to let some of us say, oh, because ah, I said yes. And now that God is telling me, my daughter, I'm not the one leading you. I used to, ah, because of my shame. Ah, I don't want to, to go back to marry committee or to go back and tell him, no, no way. I'm just going to bear it. Hey, my sister, I think it's better you run. <laughs> when God said no, it's better you just take off. Just run for your dear life because you don't know what is ahead. Even though I said yes, after three months, I went back. I said, please, I'm sorry. I, I don't have peace. And oh my goodness, the whole church, I mean, the my committee stood against me. Brethren, don't be afraid. Where am I going to share? Where am I sharing this testimony? So sometimes I say, my pastor is not happy because I came back and said no. Oh, everybody is against me. I, everyone was against me, brethren. Everyone was against me. So what do you mean? After you are saying yes to this brother, and now you are after three months, you are coming back to say no. I say yes, sir. I say yes, sir. I'm saying no because I don't have peace. Because the Lord is telling me that he has no hand in it. Oh, my goodness, it was like I should run away from the church. Thank God for my, your, my uh, pastor, Pastor Augustine Shane on this platform. That I, I wanted to run away to Calabar. He was one that encouraged me and said, Aburomi, where are you going to? I said, I can't stand it. Everyone is against me. Everybody is against me. I can't stand Just let me go. He said, no, you are not going anywhere. I said, okay. I make up my mind. I said, you know what? I'm going to face it. And God gave me the grace. I was able to face it. It wasn't easy, but I mean, you facing leaders, top leaders in the church, and look at small me here, but God gave me the grace. I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bow. No, I'm not gonna give in. I'm saying no, and I said no. And God was backing me up. So now I started praying, say, Lord, I can't be making mistakes. Please lead me. Please lead me, oh Lord. And behold, God brought this brother. Even this brother, ah, not to my own test. That, that's, I mean, looking at him, I said, ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no. This is not the kind of person I want. This is not the kind of person. Then God said, you ask, you're asking me to give you my will. Now I am giving you my will. My, and you are saying no. It took, I said, but this guy, I don't know him. I don't, I started giving, giving God condition, brethren. I started telling the Lord, I said, I don't know him. I don't do this. I don't do blah, blah. I got God said, yeah, you don't have to know him. But that is my best for you. That's the one. So I said, okay, God, if this brother is the one, I don't even love, I don't, I don't even love, I don't love him, nothing. I don't love him. I don't. So I said, okay, I said, I pray, so God, if you are the one leading me to this brother, let this love, let me begin to love him. Let me begin to love him because I don't love him. I don't like him. Then God started working on me. 
and that was settled. You know, I didn't share. You see, sometimes when you know the will of God, you start running around, be telling people, guess what? I did not share it with anyone. I kept it to myself because all along I'm thinking, I say, I think I'm the one. I think I'm lusting after this brother. I think it's my head. So because of that, I refuse to share with anybody. I refuse to share with my leader, my leaders. So even when they were sending some people to me, I was turning them down. It got to a point I was called upon. I said, Elizabeth, what is wrong with you? We're sending people to you and you are turning them down. I said, because I have seen the will of God. Who I said, I'm not going to tell them because I was afraid to. I said, now, if I should tell you this person and it doesn't turn out to be him, it doesn't work out, what's going to happen again? I said, no, I'm not going to tell anyone. Brethren, it took me three and a half years I was waiting for this brother. I was waiting. I said, I'm going to wait. No matter how long it's going to take, I'm going to wait for him. Already I've said yes to God. So I'm going to wait. Three and a half years. That three and a half years, did I, just like our sister said, did, was I showing myself to him and say, ah, I'm waiting for you now. I, I No, no way. I did not show it. Nobody even, in fact, I did not even show it to the friends. Nobody, because I didn't want anybody to help it, to help the Holy Spirit. His friends were so close to me. I said, ah, Sister Lee, ah, this brother you are waiting for, who is this brother? I said, don't worry. If it is the will of God, it will show. It will come up. Who is the brother? We need to go and talk. I said, no, don't worry. For good three and a half years, he says, I was not shaky. I was not worried because I know who is leading me. I know what God has said. And I hold God by his word. And that's why the grace of God was also sufficient for me to be able to wait for three and a half years for this brother. Eventually, when Ina came, I said, you are welcome. That's the very day I gave my answer. Do you say, what? I just laugh. <laughs> you three and a half years have you have new and I've been waiting. I don't need to wait anymore. I've done my waiting. My waiting time is over. <laughs> I gave my people, my friends, I said, ah, Lizzie, you know, how can you do such a thing? I said, hold your peace. You were not the woman I prayed. You were not there when God was speaking to me. You were not there when I was having, you know, this uh, intimacy with God. So I don't need to keep him waiting. Why should I keep him waiting? After I've waited for three and a half years for him, I don't need to keep him waiting. He was shocked. Then he called and so this time you were coming to our office, you mean you knew I say yes? Uh -uh. This one you were blah, blah, you knew I say yes? This and you not even a not thing, no sign. And that is what we call maturity. <coughs> Being matured, not acting like a little girl, you know, showing, trying to go, you know, shaking here and there, wanting to show off ah, this bubble. I can't, I'm waiting for you, or going to his friend and telling them, I say, I've seen the will of God, he's the one. Please, can you talk? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I allow the spirit of God to do it. <laughs> And at the end, he came. And by the God's grace, we got married. Brethren, this brother I'm talking about, not that he's kind of has everything. You see, I want to cancel you, sisters. Sometimes you are looking for a brother ah, who has made it, who has everything, who has everything. My sister, my brother, this is my brother, my husband. My, um, I got married to him today. N nothing, okay? But he has cried. We have the promises of God. 
In fact, the house he was living, I will not let me, let me not say much. Where he was living is nothing to write home about. But God, when God was revealing things to me, God was revealing his future, not his present. God would give me the, you know, showed me everything concerning his future. But if I was like some sisters now say, you know, God showed me that the husband I'm going to marry, you know, is rich, is this and that, I would have missed the will of God. I would have missed it. Brethren, I'm telling you. Rich people came to me. Lecturer from Unilag came to me. But I was holding on to this, my, this one that has nothing. This brother that has nothing, I was holding on to it, God. I said, even though I know he has nothing, I can say, and these other rich people are coming. Uh, the other one was a lawyer. This one was a lecturer at Unilag. And I'm still holding on to this brother that I don't even, I, I said, no, God has showed me his tomorrow. I am holding on to this promise of God. And I'm, this is the will of God for me. When I not went in on my mother, I have a godmother. The godmother, I don't know that somebody has gone to my godmother. I said, ah, this is your doctor. Ah, please, so say, ah, I want to marry her. So my godmother has us got somebody for me. So when I now went, so brethren, sister, please be careful with all these matchmakers. Now I went to my godmother. I said, oh, I've seen the will of God. He has come to say, he said, no, he can never be. She said, Elizabeth, no, go back and tell him no. I said, ah. I said, mommy, why? Ah, there's the brother. There's the brother that will come to me. He's the, he's the lecturer in a unilag. I am the one that told him, told him that he should hold on, that you are in school. I should go back and tell this my own husband now. Tell him no, that because this brother has to marry you. Ah. Then I stood and said, Mommy, do you know what you're saying? You want to match make me with this person? Then I said, okay, I'll, I'll get back to you. Guess what? That was the last. Hmm. I said, no way. Hey, me that I've been waiting for three and a half years. Now you are telling me to go back and say no because you want to match make me with somebody. I said, no, he may not be a lecturer in Unilag. He may not be anybody. He may not have anything, but I'm going with him. That is the will of God for me. And my mother, my godmother was so angry, was so annoyed. My sister, are you on this platform? And somebody is trying to match make you. You better run. You better run. And run to God. And cleave to God. Because God can never give you someone that will end up taking your life. Go mm. mark it down. God can never give you somebody that will frustrate you. Mm -mm. God can never give you somebody that will make your life miserable. Mm -mm. Oh, brethren, I say, God can never give you a woman or a, 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 or a man that will make your life ah, so miserable. No. But matchmaker, they can give you. They can do it. And I bless the name of the Lord that I never listened to anyone but I listen to God. Are you on this platform? You are listening to human being. Guess what? Hmm. At the end, you will be the loser. I'm telling you. Because they will not go with you to that family, to that home. You alone will be there and you will face the consequence. I'd rather go with what God said so that if anything should come up, I know where to go to. I know who to cry to. God, who led me to that home, will be there with me, will see me through. And to God be the glory, here we are. This same man, they say, oh, he has nothing. He doesn't have anything. Where are we today? We are in Canada today. 
This is a man that you know we we, we got my my brother can testify that we got married into a uh, room and a parlor. <laughs> even that room and a parlor is not it to even I mean it's not even the best. But I was following God's way. I was holding on to what God has showed me. I was holding on to what God has showed me. My sister, be careful. It's sometimes they say, you know the mistakes of our sister today. They are looking for someone who has arrived. They are looking for a brother that has made it. But it's good. It's good to, you know, it's good to look to, you know, seek those good things. Okay. But will that good thing bring you joy in that family? With that money, with that money, you will say money, you will not be able to spend it. Is that the kind of life you want to live? You will say what? Eh? You'll be crying that they should take the wealth away from you. You know why? Because there's no joy. There's no love. The man doesn't even appreciate you. Doesn't even appreciate you. Doesn't even love you. Because everything was based on material things, right? And now you are looking at those material things. You cannot even enjoy it. God forbid. We didn't have anything. But today, we have everything. Amen? Amen. Today, we have everything. From, from, a, from, a, from two bedrooms, from room and a parlor, to so God be the glory. This same man from the room and the parlor. Today, we have properties here and there. This is what I would have missed. Brethren, sometimes we want to, we are looking at that brother. Look at that brother. He doesn't, he only have one standard. Is that it all? Oh, he only have one shirt. Look at that brother. I don't like him. He's not handsome. Look, and you have all this complaining and complaining, no knowing that that lies your destiny. A lot of us have made that, a lot of sisters have made that mistake. And thank God you're on this platform. Thank God you are, you are listening to all this testimony. A lot of sisters have made mistakes in their lives that they cannot, it, right? Because marriage, I mean, you are, if, when you enter, you can come out. Some are crying, but there's no way out. You know? That's why I keep telling people, seek ye forth the will of God, and every other thing will be added to you. Those things that you know, those things you want, you want this, you, it all will add it to you. But seek this will first. And that is what I did by the grace of God. And what I Every other thing, even more. Than, how many houses? How many houses do we have in Nigeria? There, both in Canada here. But was it like that in the first day? In the from the beginning? No. From the beginning, it was only two bedroom, a room and a parlor. A room and a parlor. And I'm telling myself, I said, God is not even done with us yet. God is not done with us yet. So brethren, please, I want to counsel you, my sisters. Don't just look at that brother and just light him off. No, because you don't know the destiny of that brother. Don't just see a brother in the church and say, look at this brother, eh? this brother, beggy, beggy brother, only one standard, only one shoe, only one shirt, only one blah, blah, blah. blah. Ah, sister, you don't know the destiny of that brother. You don't know who that brother is going to be. You don't know what that brother is going to become. Because you see this God, hmm, eh, his ways are deep. As I say, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. But when we follow Christ, my brethren, you will not regret. When you follow the will of God, he will give you a marriage of no regrets. Amen? Amen? I'm telling you, he will give you a marriage of what? Of no regrets. I have a marriage of no regrets. 
and I bless the name of the Lord that I did not, I did not look at you, know, despise him. A lot of brothers and sisters are despising the will of God for their life just because God has not shown them the future of their brother. And what did they do? They just write off those brothers and say, God, for, eh, you, 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 God forbid. Eh, they'll be doing like that. Eh, God forbid. Eh, to marry, God forbid. God forbid. I can never. Eh, I can never marry you. What do I, eh, my friends, what will my, what my friends, what will your friends say? Mine say a lot during my own time. They say a lot. But did I listen to them? No, I listened to God more. My pastors, my leaders, they, did I listen? They say many things. Did I listen to them? No, I listened more to my God. I listen more to him. And today, they are, they are, they are looking and say, wow, Sister Elizabeth, ah, ah, Sister Elizabeth, ah, ah, Sister Elizabeth. I, in my heart, I say, oh Lord, thank you that I did not listen to them. I listen to you. And today, this is where I am. Please, single sisters, I plead with you. Do not despise anyone that comes to you. Rather, go to the Lord. Ask the Lord, is he the one for my life? Brothers that are here, please, I beg you, never you despise any sister. Oh, look at that. She, she's not even beautiful. Maybe God brought that lady so that you can beautify her. Oh, look at, look, she doesn't even speak well. Oh my goodness, she's not even a graduate. Maybe God brought her so that you can help her. God is the best matchmaker. And I want to see brethren, sisters, brothers, when it comes to the will of God, you've got to trust the Lord. Trust God's judgment. That is the problem we have with the sisters, single sisters and brothers. They don't trust the judgment of God. They don't. Please, they will look that trust in. Trust the judgment of God. When God brings anybody to you, just trust God and say, that is the best. When somebody wants to talk, I say, just say no, my bobo. In fact, during my own time, it's ah, Sister Lee, you that you are fair. You want to mind this blackie? I, I say, don't, eh, don't, don't ever, I don't want to hear it. Don't ever call him blackie. I said, that is my Prince Charming. I call him Prince Charming. I call that, I said, that is my Prince Charming. Yes, he may be black for you, to you. He may be ugly. He may be whatever. But for me, that is my Prince Charming. And today, is it not my Prince Charming? He's my crown. Mm. Where yes. I am today, God use him. That is how God works. So I plead with you, my brethren, on this platform, all the single, please don't despise. If somebody has come to you, go, see, go ask the Lord. If, the, if God said yes, please accept, the, accept that brother. Accept that sister. God can never make mistake. Amen? God can never make mistake, my sister. Amen. God can never, you may not know it all, but he knows it all. He knows why he has given you that brother. You may be looking, he doesn't have money. He doesn't, look at what our sister said. That there was no money for research. They did a small research. But she's happy. My sister, which one do you want? Have a, a, a big research. Kill three cows. Do everything. And when you enter, no joy. No happiness. Every day you are wetting your pillow, crying. Is that what you want? Oh, a brother that would really appreciate you. Oh, Baba, that would appreciate you. That will oh, that will love you for who you are. That will love you. Is that not what are we women? What are we looking for? Is it not love? Somebody that will appreciate us, somebody that will pamper us, somebody, oh my goodness, somebody that will pour all the love upon us. 
Someone that almost want to worship us. Is that not what we want? That's what every woman is looking for. But then, if God said that thing you are looking for is in this brother that has no money, it's in this brother that is not handsome, it's in this brother that is, uh, you know, nothing. But that's not the end of that brother. His future is great. Just maybe at this moment, at this point, this is, he has nothing, but his destiny is great. Me, I will go with that brother. And I pray God will help every one of us. With all this Amen. testimony, brethren, single sister, please, with all the testimony we've shared, go back again and sit back and begin to say, God, where have I missed it? Have I said no because that brother was not, not looking good? Have I said no to the have I said no to the right person? Just because that brother wasn't looking good, that brother wasn't doing well, that brother does it, he talked too much, he blah blah blah. blah. It, ah, God, please forgive me. And if that brother is still there, please go grab your husband. Don't say because hey, I've said no, I don't want to look foolish. Ah, sister. You don't want to look foolish. You better look foolish and go grab your destiny. Mm -hmm. People will laugh at you. Don't worry. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? To miss your destiny because people will laugh at you because you're going to be ashamed or to go and say, no, I'm going to drop my pride. I'm going to drop every. I'm going to say, Bro, go. maybe you use the pastor and say, please, I said no to him. But I attended a program with the testimony of two sisters I want that brother. I know within me that he's the one for me. But, but because eh, it's like this, he doesn't dress well. Eh, look at the mark on his face. And because of this, I said no to him. But within me, deep down in me, he's, he's the one for my he's the one for me. Please go back and grab your destiny and grab the will of God for, for your life. Because that life, I mean, all the good things you are looking for may lie in that brother. If I have despised my husband, it's only I didn't show you. If I have despised him, brethren, my brother, maybe when I think my brother can share more, because if I have despised the person I'm married to today, hey, I don't if maybe I, I don't I don't know. To be candid, I don't know where I would have been. I don't know the kind of life I would have been living. If I have despised him because he didn't have this. Because he's, you know, he didn't have this, he's not handsome, blah, 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 like that. And say, please, ah, ah, look at how elegant I am. See how beautiful I am. Eh? And now I'm, I'm looking for a broad. Ah, 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 I have suffered though, me from Abu Negesha. Eh, coming to live in Oshodi. Mm -hmm. I want to live in Ikoi. I want to, although there was no banana island, banana, whatever, right? What they have now. But I want to live in Ikoi. I want to, you know, I want to live in those people. Ah, because I've suffered though, I don't want to suffer again. That's what that is, that is our language today, single sisters. I've suffered. I don't want to suffer again. I, so I'm looking for a brother that has made it. I'm looking for a brother that is rich. I'm looking for a brother that will take care of my family. I'm looking for a brother that will take care of my 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 my, 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 my this, my that. And guess what? You now get into a wrong hand. Ah. The person that will almost squeeze blood out of you. You carry plates, you can't carry it well. You do this, you can't do it well. You do this, then you love because ah, but I marry will of God. No, 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 no. You marry your own will. Oh. No, you marry your own will. That was what we were looking for. It's not the will of God. No, that's not, it's your own will you marry to. So. I pray that tonight, none of us will see, keep holding to our own will. We we'll let go and grab the will of God in Jesus' name. The will Amen. of God, the Bible says, he had no sorrow. He had no sorrow. The will of God is sweet. You may not, you may not see the riches, but it will come. It took time. After many years, we now have our own, our first property in Ayobo. It took how many years again? We know, we moved to Canada. Then we have this and that. And those, I mean, this, it's just coming. And it's, uh, God is not done with me yet. Those things started coming, started coming. It wasn't like that from the beginning. So my single sisters, follow the will of God. The will of God is the best. 
to everybody it may be, ah, sister, you that you are a graduate, how can you come and marry this brother? It's not a graduate. That's another problem we're having in the Christian door today. Ah, I mean, I mean, I'm a manager in my place of work, and God is there to marry this brother that is lower. And because of that, they miss the will of God. Now they now marry somebody that is in their category, right? That in the same level, the same class, the same class, there's no joy in the family. The same class, there's no happiness. Today, some are even separated now. Yes, some are separated. They are no more living together. Sister, what of ah, no, ah, I better go. Ah, we've separated though. Ah, what happened? Ah, long story. Ah, but during your wedding, it was ah, everything was ah, yafu yafu. What happened? Ah, what? Well, leave that to Mata for Matthias. Hmm. No more joy. So, my beloved sisters, the will of God is the best. God will never give you anything less. Do the Bible says, do your beginning may be small, but your latter day shall be great. Don't you believe God? Please believe God. Believe the Lord. Do your beginning may be small. Your latter day will be great. Eh? Don't stop, don't marry a wrong person and begin to wait your bed and begin to run from one prayer house to another. Seeking, you know, praying, prayer, prayer here and the prayer house because you miss the will of God. Uh, I pray God will help every one of us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Abraham know how to pray. That's why he prayed that God should lead the servant and God did. <laughs> my brother put my picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is it. That's how we started, you know. Mm -hmm. So God, God is God is faithful, brethren. God is faithful. God is a faithful God. Our beginning was just like I said. Look at my husband. Look at our beginning was very small, but today we thank God, and God is not. I keep saying God is not yet done with me yet. He's not done with us. Why? Because. I follow the will of God. I obey the will of God. I appreciate the will of God. I trusted the Lord. I trusted him. And the Lord is, a, is faithful. He has blessed us with everything that we, instead of those things that I should have been looking for from day one, God added it. And God is still adding. Sisters, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to exaggerate. God is still hiding. God is still hiding. That is how faithful God is. That is how faithful God is. That is how wonderful God is. When you don't want to lean on your own understanding, when you don't want to do it in your own way, when you, know, you are not turning down the will of God, when you are not despising the will of God, my sister, you will stand sit where I'm sitting to give your test. Just like I suppose if I get testimony, you will come out here and give testimony. Amen. I'm telling you, you will come and give testimony. Amen. God is faithful. Trust yes, the judge. Trust God. When God said that is the brother, trust them. Let every everybody, let every other person say whatever they want to say. You hold on to the, to the promise of God. Follow what God is saying. God can never mislead you. Amen. Never. It's the best that he gives to his children. And if you are one, he is the best that he's going to give to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And as you are waiting, as you are waiting, please serve the Lord with all your heart. Don't be desperate like our sister said. Serve the Lord with all your heart. As you are waiting, because God blesses you, as you are waiting, as you are serving the Lord, that is when God Almighty will begin to work things on your behalf, will begin to work things for you 
in the mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And my Amen. sister, if you have made a mistake before, don't be ashamed and said, ah, because I, I made a mistake before. I no, no, no. I as I'm telling you now, I have made a mistake before. Okay. And that did not stop me from praying. Just because I made a mistake in the first time, then I no, I did not give up. I prayed. But I, I was more careful this time around. Like, like our uh, sister, like our brothers, our pastor said also, you know, like the mistake of one of the sisters our pastor was saying, you know, when you have said yes, for you to know that that man is a God fearing man, he will never ask you for sex. He will never ask you to come and sleep with him. Never. If you say, I, my will of God, but the will of God said, he must, he must, he must, he must, you know, he, he must touch me before it's not the will of God. No. God will never give you uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, somebody that will ask you for something that you know God is against. No. So if you say if you are in a relationship right now and the man is demanding something, you know. That is, it is, it is, it is sinful, and you know. Please run away, oh sister. Don't be ashamed to run away. Don't say what people will say. What will people say? What will people say? Don't be afraid. Run for your dear life. No matter who that man is, he may even be your leader. He may be anybody. He may what? What? I don't care. Please run for your dear life. That man is from the pit of, pit of hell. That man is an agent of the devil. You know, he just wants to explore you and, mm, and dump you. And you will live with that stuff on your body. You will live with that, uh, with that shame. God forbid. That will not be your Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my brethren, pray. God answers prayer. Amen. God answers prayer. Amen. Amen. He has never disappointed anyone that seek him. Mm. Amen. They love that attitude of praying to God. They love that attitude. Don't see all the brothers in the church as a potential husband. <laughs> that is the mistake we are doing. Not all the brothers in that church will be a potential husband to you. Not all the women in that church will be a virtuous woman. That's why you need to seek the face of God. That's why you need to pray. And then close your, when you are praying, please don't open your eyes. Close your eyes tightly. Because you don't want to open and say, ah, let me see. Hey, hey, let me see which one is passing. Let me see which one is sitting by my side. Let me see this one that no. Close your eyes tightly and say, Lord, I don't want to see anyone. It is only you I want to see so that you can direct me aright. You've done it to others. They are coming to give testimony. I want to give testimony too. I don't want to give testimony. And, and there was a day we wanted to have a program here and I called a sister. I said, uh, I want you to share your testimony, how you got to know the will of God. Ah, I said, ah, mama, this will of God. I said, okay, okay, okay. You don't have testimony. You know why? Because somebody just introduced the brother to him, to her. I said, this brother is single. He's in US. Eh, can you people get to know each other? And that's how they got to know each other. Today they are married, but thank God, today they are married. Although they are married, I don't know what's happening. They are married, though, but they are married. Because somebody did the introduction. No testimony. And I thank God it was, she was sincere. She said, no, I don't have to, I, I don't, what would I tell you? That I was connected. And that's what is happening today. Please, sister, you must have a testimony. Amen. Pray that God will give you a testimony. In a program like this, you will not be ashamed and say, Sister, please, I, we're having a single program. Please, 
I know you I know you are married and you're marrying the Lord. Please, can you come and share your testimony to the single and say, hmm, what am I going to tell them? What am I going to tell them? Hey, me that uh, it was uh, my mom <laughs> introduced me to their mom, the father, and they are, were family friends. We just did intro. What am I going to tell them? What am I going to I, I'm just going to tell them. You know, you just come and tell story. No, I'm not telling you story. And the, the sister, the first sister that gave testimony, he don't tell you story. Pray that God, I will not, when it comes to my time, I will not tell stories. I will give testimony, pure testimony, testimony that will bless the people, testimony that will be to the glory of God. God will give to you in Jesus' name. I believe God is working Amen. on you right now. I'm believing God, God is working on you right now. God is working on your decision right now. God is working on you right now because he wants to give you the best. He wants to give you his own best. Not your own, no, your, his own, his own best. Because his own best can never be your own best, no. And that's why you need to trust him. When he gives you that man, trust him that that is his best he's giving you. You may not understand now, but later you will understand why that brother was chosen for you. Amen. Amen. It's now I now understand why God gave me. Look at our picture here. It's now I understand why God gave me God doing it. It's now I understand why God gave me this man. And I thank God. That I did not look at his beginning and despise him. My sister, as somebody come to you and you have despised that brother, and you know deep down in your heart that, that is the will of God for you. God is talking to you tonight. God is speaking to you this morning. He's speaking to you this morning. Go back and do the right thing so that you can have a testimony. And the Lord Almighty will give you a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray. Maybe my brother has something else to add to the testimony. I know, go ahead. Okay. So we're going to spend time to pray. We're going to pray for ourselves. And the Lord will hear our prayer tonight. Amen. Amen. God will turn things around tonight. Amen. God did not disappoint Abraham. When Amen. God, you know, let pray Abraham, I mean, when God, Abraham prayed for a wife for Isaac, God showed up Amen. and let his servant to pick a wife for Isaac. We are going to pray tonight. God will pick your own husband. Amen. And he will Amen. give you someone that will cherish you. Someone, oh, someone that will make you to, to be fulfilled in life. God will give you somebody, you know, that will bring joy in, in, into your life, happiness into your, into your life. He may not Amen. have all the money, he may not be handsome, he may not, but he will have something that no other man can give to you. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to the Amen. Lord in prayer. Brethren. Let's go to the... First of all, you've got to have a relationship with God. you got to have a relationship with God. When you have a relationship with God, that is the point, that is starting point. That is where, where it starts. Relationship with God. Because if you have relationship with God, I'm telling you, you cannot miss hearing his voice. You cannot miss it. You've got to have a relationship with God. Love the Lord. And when you love the Lord, he will give you his best. He will give you his best. Let's begin to pray, brethren. I want to Father, pray. in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Father, I surrender my will. So that that you are with that's your will. I want the brother to be poor. That's your will. I want the brother to be rich. 
I want the brother to be elegant, charming. I want the brother to be a prophet, to be a professor. I want the brother to be a medical doctor. I want to be a doctor. I commit to surrender it to God. The Father, I give you my will. Give me your will. Take my will, O Lord. Take my will and give me your own, your own. My will, Father. God, my will is that I want to marry. Desire. I don't want to marry from your balance. Oh, I want to marry a new God, brother. Father, I want to marry a dog, a brother. I want to marry the uh, the, 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 the brother who said, ah, I want to marry from my from my village. I want to marry the. I want to marry the. Please surrender. Tell the Lord, Father, I surrender my will to you tonight. I surrender my will to you this morning, Lord. Maybe that's why there is a delay. Because God God knows you. Begin to say, Father, I thank you that God, thank you. You did not allow me to have my way. God, I thank you. Eh? Me that I said, the brother must be this. Ah, thank you, Jesus. That you did not allow me, oh, Baba. You did not allow me to have my way. You did not allow me to lean on my own understanding. You did not allow me to go my way and go marry that brother. Don't be that brother is from my village. Oh, that brother is from there. He's rich. Just because that brother, you know, he has all three things. He has everything. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Now, oh, Lord, my sister, my brother, surrender that your will to Jesus. That your will. And as a brother, I want an elegant sister. I want an elegant sister. I want a sister that's so fair. That looks like a nozo. I want this sister that is sick. I want a sister that speaks. I want a medical a sister that's a medical doctor. I want a sister, I want a sister. Ah, my brother. If God should give you what you want, Father. It will destroy you. Moving them, moving them, oh Lord. If God should moving give you all those oh things you want, at the end of the day, destiny, those things will turn Father around and destroy you. You don't want that. Surrender so your will to God right now, brethren. My sister, I want to think I was also a single sister, but I thank the Lord today that I surrender my will to God in the name of Jesus. And God in heaven. Lord God Almighty, I you cannot hold, asking, hold on Lord, to your own will you bring and them to God will give you your will. No, oh Lord, you, you just have to let go. You, let Father, go your will, so that you will Let go your own will. So that you your own will cannot stand the test of time. Your will to oh, them, yes. Father, for them I'm saying the that because I'm a living testimony. Your own will cannot stand the test of time. But the will of God can stand the test of time. The will of God can stand the test of time. Anything. Those that are supposed to get married, they are crying every day, father, and they are trusting in Recently, you. Recently, I cancelled a sister that like called me from Nigeria. Lord, and I will come home, me, please. I don't know what to do. I said, You know what? You are married. There's nothing you can do. You don't go back and drop. You can't run away. You can't run away. In the name of Jesus. But he wasn't like that. He promised. I pray and I'm yes. asking, Father, it oh, Lord, work on them, Lord, that attracted you. Work on them, work on you them, were attracted that all oh, those physical things, work in them, work but never them, knew that. Them, work on them, work the moment them, she work enters, them, everything changed. <laughs> and I told that sister, go back and, sit, and begin to pray that God will have mercy. He said, you mean, that's what I, I said, go back. You know what to do? Begin to love him. Ah, he doesn't love me. It was not like that. I said, begin to show, begin to love him. Because I'm not going to tell you to pack out. I'm not going to tell you to, 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 to separate, you know, leave him. No, that's not the will of God. The Bible says he is putting away. My sister, call upon the name of the Lord. 
let your will be done. Say the Lord, say give Father, him give in the name of Father, Jesus. Wherever you lead, I go. My sister, let's make a covenant. Begin to make a covenant to right now. Come to pitch right now. Say, Father, from today, wherever you lead, I will go. Wherever you lead me, I will go. And wherever you have chosen for me, who am I to challenge your decision? Who am I to challenge your decision? Say the Lord, Lord, I am sorry. We have been challenging your decision for my life. We have been challenging your choice of husband for my life. As I have found God, all this rich brother, can't you give me any of you are bringing this this this, uh, this this brother that has no money, this brother that, that is living in one room. My sister, I was living, we started in a room and the father. This husband, look at my picture there. We started in a room and the palace. That room and the palace, no toilet, you know. <laughs> a room and the palace. Father, in heaven, I pray and I'm asking Lord. We are properties, three properties in Nigeria. One in our body, one in the village, one in our, one in in his Matana village. In Canada here, we have two properties here in Canada here. Oh, to this, look at these two people. I'm telling you, look at these two people that only two beds there. They got married. They were in a room and a parlor. A room, when I say properties, I don't mean a bungalow. I'm talking of three-story building. Three-story building in a cat. Three-story, uh, two-story building in, uh, in the same, uh, two in property in a cat. In, uh, in, uh, in Lagos, there is a, a story building. And here, here, so I'm not talking of uh, maybe a boy, a boy scotter in a land. Uh -uh. This, this two, these two people you are seeing their picture, they started in a room and a parlor. A room and a parlor. That is what I'm telling you. Lord, will you follow the will of God? Every God. other thing will be added Lord, to you. Pray, Father, My sister, don't be afraid to follow the will of I God. I pray, Lord God of glory, that don't be afraid. Follow, oh Lord. Please, I the beg you, don't be afraid to follow the will of God. Jesus, the will of God can never lead you astray. No, it will not bring you shame. Lord, it could never bring you shame. But was that from the beginning? God did not. No, but thank God that did not despise. Please pray that, oh God, in wherever we have ever despised your will, Lord, forgive me. We have despised that thing. Because that sister was not doing well. Lord, forgive me. We have despised that brother. My sister, you don't even know that brother. That brother that God has said is the will of God. Just because that brother has one standard. And you despise him. You throw him. In fact, you even throw him away. You did, in fact, you did not even want to listen to him. Please go back. Say, brother, I want to listen to you now. What were you trying to tell me? And say, ah, my sister, I pray. Please go and pray so that God will speak to you too. And the moment God says, Yes, my daughter, please go for that brother. Something good, something good, you know, is in that in that brother. There is a package, there is a package, there's a, package. There's a package that God has for that union. And if you miss it, you miss that package. Pray that, oh Lord, I will never miss my package. The package you have prepared for me, oh Lord, I will not be foolish to miss that package. In the mighty name of Jesus, I did not miss my package. You will not miss your package. Pray that God, I will not miss that package, oh Lord. The package you have prepared for me, that is between me and this brother, Lord, I will not miss it. I will not allow selfishness to make me to lose that which you have prepared for me. A lot of sisters, because of selfishness, they lose it. They lose it. Pray that you will not. Pray that you will not. In the mighty name, I'm talking to a sister here on this platform. I'm talking to somebody here. You have despised so many brothers. Just if you have despised them, I'm pleading with you. Pray that God today, God will break that chain. God will break that. God will destroy that spirit. That's why you don't despise. 
I am begging you, pray tonight. I'm talking to somebody on this platform. You have that spirit. That spirit of despising brothers. That spirit of despising them. Lord, begin God to pray, say, Lord, deliver me today, today. As a result of that, guess what? You despise your the brother God has chosen for you. But guess what? God is always a merciful God. God is a merciful God. You have this, yes, you have despised the womb, the, the real best God gave you to prepare for you. Just because that person did not, you know, did not have all that you want, you despise him. And that brother took off. But today, God is a merciful God. Pray that God have mercy on me. Have mercy. I am the one that, you know, that this sister is talking about. I don't know you. Thank God that I don't even know any of you. I don't know you. I, I, I believe you don't even know me. But God is speaking to you tonight. God is speaking to you tonight. God is speaking because God still wants to give you the best. You are precious before God. Yes, that's why you have been. God is just looking at you. God is just looking at you. And thank God, God did not allow you to go your own way because He loves you. Oh, yes. Because He loves you. That's why God has not allowed you to go astray. Waiting that, that sister, you will come to this program. You will come and listen to, to my daughters in this program. By so doing, you will call upon me and I will begin to walk. Begin to pray. This our prayer. Begin to pray. Father, I pray God is Lord, merciful. That they will not miss it. God is Father, merciful. I am talking to somebody Lord, here. God is merciful. Be merciful. God wants to. He wants to give you his best. Even though you have rejected it, even though you have despised it, and gave it to somebody else, and that person grabbed it. God said, if you come to him, he will still give you the best. He will still give you the best. I am talking to him. I'm talking to a sister on this platform. God loves you. Because thank God that you are not saying you God did not allow you to fall victim. Begin to thank God that God did not allow you to fall victim, to go astray. Because He loves you. He loves you. And that's why I have kept you. So that you will not fall victim. So that you will not marry wrongly. That's why I have kept you for a time like this. So that you will come to this platform and hear from his daughter. And you will call upon him. And he's so faithful. He is a merciful God. He will have mercy. And who turn this around for you? Oh yes, God still have somebody for you. Yes, my sister, God still have somebody for you. God still have somebody for you. And the person is waiting. I'm telling you, the person is waiting. I, yes, the person is waiting. He is waiting, but God has to deal with you first. Because if God should bring that person, you you will decide that person. I'm I'm speaking. I'm speaking from the spirit of God, brethren. If, speaking from me, if God should have given bring brother person, you would despise that brother, just like you've been doing to others. So God wants to deal with you first. God wants to deal with you first. He wants to break you first. Yes, God wants to break you first. By the time God is done with you, and that brother will come, you will appreciate God. Then you will appreciate that brother too. Then you will accept that brother. So God wants to break you. God wants to break you. I like him to break break you. Allow him to break you so that he can break because the more you don't allow him to tell me, the more you'll be delayed, you know. The prayer is, this is you pray. Hey, I cancel every spirit of the hey, God is the one doing this one. God is the one doing this and he's doing it not because he cannot just allow you to know. This, this, this is what God, the love of God. This is the love of God for you. That God did not allow you to get married all the years. It's because He loves you. If God should have allowed you, sister me, ah, I'm telling you, you'll be calling Pastor Ayani, you'll be calling Pastor Oshie. Ah, hey, God, do for me. Hey, please pray for me. Pray for my husband. I never knew. Ah, and they will, be, will pray. They will pray for you. Pastor Ayani will pray for you. 
Pastor Ocean will pray for you. <laughs> but will that change anything? No. They will do the prayer. But instead of you waiting to do that prayer, do it tonight. Do it this morning. Let's do that prayer this morning. Let's settle it with God this morning. God is the awesome God. God is all powerful God. I'm telling you, He has the best for His children. Look at that, our sister. Don't look for anybody. When, when when everything is settled tonight, God knows how to bring that brother. Look at this, look at our sister. Our sister was sleeping in that street for 35, for 38 years. And God brought that brother. She did, she did not go around looking for that brother. Hey. You know, it was God that brought that brother. Hey, hallelujah. It was God that brought that brother to that street. It was God. Our sister was busy going to big, big churches. Going, you know, God was just, I know God, believe God was just laughing. Oh, my daughter. Okay, be doing that, be doing your own. But when it was time, our sister surrendered, right? God has stepped in. And brother, instead of our sister going in, it was God that brought. Sister, surrender, and God will bring the husband to you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God will surely bring your husband to you. Amen. Your husband is there. Not that you are going to look for him. Look for him. Your husband is there, but God wants to work on you. God wants to work on you. God wants to break you. God wants to prepare you. So that when that brother comes, you will appreciate that brother. You will accept that brother. Because if God does not work on you, you will continue to, you know, despise them. You continue to despise them. You continue to reject them. And you say God is delaying you. No, God does not delay you. You are the one delaying yourself. Let's pray. Oh, Father. And have in the will of God. You are waiting for the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's, Thank what you, is Jesus. that? Is? Pray, say God. Thank what you. is that thing that is in me? Thank you. What is that thing that is in me that remains to, that you need to destroy, that you need to take away? What is that thing that remains for me to be you know, for that thing to be taken away from me so that the will of God will come real? The will of God must come real in your life. What is that thing that needs to be destroyed? What is that thing that needs to be taken away? And our brothers, our brothers that are on this platform, pray to God too. Maybe, you know, God has led you and you are looking at that. This show is a This one is short, though. Ah, this one is slim. Ah, this one is fat, though. This one is. This is fat. I'm going to that. Oh, my. That is the woman that will complete you. That is the woman that will make bring joy. That is the woman that will make you a man. That is the woman that will give you children. That is the woman that will make. In fact, that the woman. Oh, and you said you don't because uh, because she's fat. Oh, because she's black. Oh, because she has a mark on her face. Oh, because uh, this and this, and you rejected. You rejected. You rejected the gifts of God. Not people. I don't call it with the gifts. You rejected the gifts of God, brother. Pray that God help me, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, have Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 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 Lord have mercy
the name of the name of my children. Lord, I call parents. I pray. Many parents also have destroyed the destinies of their children. They say, No, that man, you must not bring that man in this house. That man that has no money. That man that has no car. That man that is not the graduate. So that man that is living in one room. Look at us. We are living, we are we are living in the we are living in the flat. And your husband is living in one room. We never marry him. Many parents have destroyed the destiny of their children. We want to be good. May I not be the one to destroy the destiny of my children because of selfishness. Act of selfishness and I destroy the destiny of my children. Oh, Lord, I pray that Lord, Lord, that I will not be the one to destroy the destiny of my children. In the name of Jesus. 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 You are really waiting patiently. We want to pray. Every satanic veil covering you tonight. Let the fire of God burn to ashes. Every satanic veil that may be covering any sit down, we want to do in the name of the Lord that tonight the fire, let the fire of God begin to destroy every satanic veil covering you that the brother cannot pray true to you and you too cannot pray true to his sister. Oh, yeah, let's begin to pray. Let's agree Father, together. In the name of Jesus, Lord, the of let the fire of God be released. Covering as our sisters, covering our brethren, causing them not to be able to break through all their, all their, all their, all their, their own mother's house, partner, not able to break through to discover them, or they are able to discover each other in my fire. I command those who are manipulating to be consumed by the fire. I command those who I command those who are manipulating to be consumed by the fire. I command in the name of Jesus. It's another this is turning God to be consumed. Ah, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire. I command Holy Ghost fire to consume them. Consume them now, consume them. In the name of Jesus. right now in the mighty name of Jesus, any power working against your marital destiny, any power working against your marital destiny from your father's house, every power working against your marital destiny from your mother's house, let the fire of God be released. Let the fire of God be released. Let the fire of God be released. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ogede Amen. 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 Amen.
if we want to pray divine connection, we want to pray that from this October, that the Lord will connect you to, the, to, 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 to your partner. The Lord will connect you to that brother. The, you know, in a miraculous, we call it what? Divine connection. Divine, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. going to be divinely. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's not like it happened to our sister that testified. The Lord connected you to the divine connection. You are going to pray the Father. Connect me, oh Lord. Connect Father, me. in the name of Jesus. I the pray, oh Lord, 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 for Sister Abiola, for Sister Pauline, for Sister Nathalie, for Sister John, 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 God has one thousand and one way of bringing the truth together. Lord, in this month of October, connect me to from the Lord. Lord, in my joy for marriage, those who are ready for marriage this year, Lord, I pray and ask my Lord that you connect them, O Lord, Father, connect them, O Lord, this year. In the name of Jesus, Makate, Napa, Lute, and Kuni, and the city, Lord, I pray and I ask. Connect them, O Lord. Connect them, O Father. In the miraculous to their Isaac, that connect is them to their Rebecca, connect them to their Oh yes, connect Father, them to their divine spouse, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Lord is giving you the name of Jesus. That divine connection is taking place right now. That divine connection is taking place right now. Connect them, Father, connect them now. Connect them now, connect them now. Zone na papa lu kia de na bosundo na kumba. Adi adi de na bosundo na kuli ama lu kia. Hari <laughs> Amen. Amen. There are some sisters, you know, there's a partition between them and their and their and their future partner. If that war does not come down, there's no how they can be connected. We want to pray. Every war that is between you and your future partner, let that war come down. Lord, I in come against every war between you and your partner. As far as that war, that war is there, and your and your there's nothing I connect you. In the Let's begin to pray. Every war that is between you and your partner, let that war come down. 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 Let that war come let the thunder, let the thunder, let the thunder of God, thunder, thunder everyone, you and your partner, let the thunder of God thunder them down, let the thunder of God thunder them down. You can see a war, there is a war, there is a war between you, the invisible war. As far as that invisible war is there, my sister, just like our sister said, for 38 
eight years he was in that street. She was in that street. She was born in that street. She lived in that street. Let that wall of partition. But when that prayer, I believe when that wall came down, that was when that brother was able to see her. That was when that brother was able to see her. What to decree tonight? Wall of partition to be destroyed. You and your future partner. Whatever it is, this morning, let those let the fear of God thunder them down. Let the thunder of God begin to thunder them down. Now God does not come down. Now they stay in that place. I have behold. Maybe in the next street, your if your partner is even in the next street, because of that war, because of that war, that connection cannot take place. That connection cannot take place until that war comes down. Until the power of God brings that war. Until the thunder of Jesus comes down. Let those in Jesus mighty day we pray amen prayer point from my end here we want all the pastors that are on the line we want to pray a prayer of releasing for all the singles on this platform and those that were here before, maybe they're going to work the flex. We want to take a prayer of releasing that the, all these single sisters will be released. Amen. The power of God will begin to release them. So all Amen. the pastors, please let's join our faith together and pray for all the singles on this platform that this month of October they will be released Amen. to go get married. Father, in the ah, name yes. of Jesus, in this month of October, ah, Lord, in this month of October, the anointing, oh, oh Lord, Lord, Father, we release, oh Lord, Father, Lord. our sisters into Lord. their destiny, to their mother's destiny, in the name of Jesus, we release Abiola of Father into our mother's destiny, in the name of Jesus, we release Pauline into our mother's destiny, in the name of Jesus, we release Natalie into our mother's destiny, as we are it. We are decreeing the release of all the simple sisters from this platform. And those that are here and those that are not here, the members of this platform, we want to decree the release to go get married. To be released to go get married. by the resurrection power of God, you are released. My sister, I congratulate you. You are released. You are released. My brother, I congratulate you. You are released tonight. 
Hallelujah. Go. Go and get married. Go. Go. Do like that. Go. 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 The resurrection power have released you. The resurrection power of God have released you. Oh yes. The resurrection power of God have released you. Go on, go by faith. Go and begin to get yourself like this. Go, 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 go. Go and begin to get yourself like this. If you want to go and sew your wedding down, go and sew your wedding down. Go and go buy your suit. Go and buy your suit. You are released. You are released. By the power of God, you are released. The resurrection power of God, you are released. Oh, yes. By the name that is above every other name, you are released tonight. You are released this morning. You are released this morning. My sister, begin to rejoice. I congratulate you. I congratulate you. Oh, yes. I congratulate you. You are released. You are released. We are not the one that released you. The resurrection power has released you. Okay, the power that is above every other power has released you. Oh yes, you are released to go get married. Go and get married. No more hindrances. No more hindrances. No more hindrances. No more hindrances. No more partitions. No more barriers. In the name my Lord and my God, Father. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I release you to your marital destiny. I release you to your marital destiny. I release you to your Everyone that is ready for me, ah, Lord, I release you all into your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus. 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 I release you all into your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus. Let me go to the city of Papa Yadi. Okay, let me go to the city of Papa Yadi. I will be Lord Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Amen. We want to pray. Finally, I'm sorry, I said finally the other time. We want to pray, brethren. Agree together. Any power that want to challenge this prayer tonight. This morning, any power that want to challenge you, go challenge you and say, eh? so you'll be released. So now you want to go to so wedding gown. Now you, eh? you want to, eh, eh, eh. you want to decree tonight. Any power that want to challenge your your your, your preparation. Any power that want to challenge you tonight. We want to pray. Let the thunder of God thunder them down. Amen. Power. Let the thunder power that want to, want to challenge. Pray. You don't be sentimental. Don't, don't pray for our God. Let the power that want to, to challenge your preparation. Any power that want to challenge you tonight. That God thunder them down. Thunder them down. Any power that want to challenge my release. Any power that want to challenge my release tonight. Power that want to challenge the release of this power. 
them down. I let the people of God thunder them down. I want to challenge the preparation. I command the people that want to challenge the relief. You are the relief. You are the relief. And any power that want to challenge you, I want to challenge your relief. Money. Let the thunder of God thunder them down. The thunder of God from heaven. Let it thunder them down. Let the power that want to challenge your relief. Because you are being released tonight. Please, <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Lord, because these are released, they are released, they are released, they are released, they are released. They are released. into the marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, they are released into the marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, Father, it is released to his marital destiny. Joy of our Alessa is released into our marital destiny. Joy of all which is released into our marital destiny. And Joy of Father here is released into our marital destiny. All our doing. I know it's released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. It is released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. Natalie is released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. Why me, Baba is released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. This year, Baba is released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. Then Christmas Eve is released to another destiny in the name of Jesus. I know that my God is the Lord of the Universe. In the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 let it start. Lord, let it start. Oh, Lord God, of the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Papa, <laughs> Jesus, mighty name of praise. Amen. Before I hand over to our pastor, I please sing this song. My life shall be a testimony. 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 My life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord. If your life is going to be a testimony from this October, please sing this song with me. My life shall be a testimony, testimony, Lord. Testimony, my life shall be a testimony. Testimony to the glory of the Lord for more time. My life shall be a testimony. Testimony, no, testimony, oh no, my life shall be a testimony. Testimony to the glory of the Lord. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Your life shall be a testimony. Amen. Testimony to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Over to you, Pastor. 
Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let us stay, tell our host that God bless you. God bless you, Sister God bless Elizabeth. You, God bless you, Mama. God bless you, Mama. God bless you. God bless you. More anointing upon your life. More great more anointing in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord God Almighty, we pray, Father, that you refill our host, our guest speaker, our guest speaker. We pray that you refill her more and more as she has released, oh Lord, the anointing, Father, for marital breakthrough into the life of our children, into the life of our sisters and our brother. Lord, I pray and I'm asking that you refill her in return, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, mm -hmm. Father, I know that right in, there in Canada, Lord, Father, I pray that her glory will shine, oh Lord, Father. Many people, oh Lord, will come under her administration and to be blessed, not only in Canada, oh Lord, even out in North America, South America, they will hear our voice, oh Lord Father, and it should be a blessing to many generations, younger generations, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, I decree, Father, that the marriage of Ad Abiola or Palaye shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I decree, I decree that the marriage of, of uh, Waimi Baba shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, yes. I decree in the name of Jesus that yes. the marriage of uh, Pauline Eboigbe shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Amen. I decree, it's a decree, it's a decree. Yes. I decree Amen. because the Bible tells me that I shall decree and I shall be established. I decree yes. that the marriage of Anu Oladuni shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God, I decree that the marriage of Isioma Chris Osai shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, I decree Amen. that the marriage of uh, uh, Kenneth Chris Osai shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, I decree, a decree, I decree that the marriage of Natalie shall be a marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Amen. Lord Baba, that the marriage of precious uh, shall be marriage of no regret in the name of Jesus as you have made the marriage of Elizabeth A.T. as you have made the marriage of uh, Adiola uh, 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 to be a marriage of no regret Father, everyone that have come oh Lord to, 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 to everyone, everyone that have come this day to come and pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are asking, Father, that the marriage of everyone shall be marriage of no regret. In the name of Amen. Jesus, the marriage Amen. of the, the marriage of Joy Oluchi. In the name of Jesus, as she logged in, in the name of Jesus, shall be marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus, the Amen. marriage of uh, of of Joy Alessa. Shall be marriage of no regret in the name of Jesus. I decree Amen. that the marriage Amen. of Pius Jeremiah shall be marriage of no regret in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord God Almighty, for all our sisters who could not log in, those are brothers who could not log in, Father, but their sisters. For their sisters and also our parents and some other parents who could not come and, and, and stand in the gap for their children. My Lord and my God, we are asking, Father, that, that all, all marriages of all our brethren, Father, shall be marriage of no regret. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Lord God Almighty, we release the marriage of. Pauline, a boy, a boy, now, in the name of Jesus. In this Amen. month of October, we release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. I know all are doing, we release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. Why me, Baba? Why me, Baba? We release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. By us, Jeremiah, we release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. John Oluji, we release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. John Alessa, we release your marriage now, in the name of Jesus. 
of Jesus. He is your my Christmas side. He is your my Christmas side. We release your marriage now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christmas side. We release your marriage now in the name of Jesus. Natalie, release your marriage now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. My Lord and my God. The marriage of precious, we release it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The marriage of other sisters and other brothers, Lord God Almighty, we release their marriages now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release your marriage now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Go for those who are ready right now. We command you right now because your mother has been released. Go and begin to prepare in the name of Jesus. Go and begin Amen. to prepare now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to Amen. buy, begin to buy things that you need to buy. Begin to get ready now because your marriage has been released in the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. For those Amen. that desire to get married this year, go right now and begin to prepare in the name of Jesus. Go Go and buy your wedding garment. Go and do what you need to do. Look at our sister and uh, 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 see what she did. She acted by faith. And yes. God and and God and she acted by faith and that activated a uh, God into our shop. You too begin now. Go and start buying things that you need to buy for your marriage. Begin to tell people that your marriage is now in the name of Jesus because Amen. your marriage has been released. Because heaven has released your marriage, and now yes. you take you take action. You take yes. action. As yes. you take action, angels of God will back you up in the name of Jesus. As you take action, angels of God will back you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Oh, Baba, we say thank you. Lord God Almighty, these are our sisters and our brother. They are coming next year to testify. They are coming next year to testify. Beginning from the first quarter, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, you will be one of those to testify. And our sister can testify. You to go and testify in the name of Jesus. When next we shall have, when next we shall have our singles, you are coming to be part of it next year as we come to testify as we have our singles. We shall call you to come and testify in the name of Jesus. And you have a testimony. You have a testimony. You have a testimony. You have a testimony. You have a testimony in the name of Jesus. You have a testimony in the name of Jesus. If you are my you have a testimony in the name of Jesus. You have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All, all of us have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Joy and Lessa, a testimony in, in the name of Jesus. Paul, Amen. Maya, have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. And everyone that belongs to this platform that are single, yes. you all have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. The children, even the children of our uh, 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 of our guest speaker, they to also have a testimony in the name Amen. of Jesus. The children Amen. of everyone of Allah, uh, Allah they also have testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. And that we say thank you. Lord, thank we you say Lord. thank you. And thank we you parents, Lord. and we parents, we shall also have testimony on behalf of our Amen. children in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You will have testimony over the marriage of your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You see, we are declaring as shall it be. Cordelia Baba, you will have testimony over the marriage of Waimi Baba in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Abiola Ostinushi and Ostinushi, you have testimony over the wedding of precious in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Sister Elizabeth 80, you have testimony over your over the marriage of your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
you have testimony over the marriage of your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the marriages of our children shall be far, far sweeter than our own marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The marriages of our children shall be far, 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 far greater than our own marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we say thank you. Lord thank you, Lord. God Almighty, uh, we have secured our marriages. Mm -hmm. We have secured the marriages of our younger generations Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, we bless you. Daddy, we bless yeah. you. We glorify you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this for today. We give you praise, yeah. oh Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that as many as we listen to this message, on the uh, uh from our youtube channels whether through facebook or whatever social media as they see the the link and the login and, and and they click it and they listen father in heaven whatever is the state of their marriage father we are asking oh lord they to have testimony in the name Amen. of jesus and Amen. any single that listen any single that listen listen to this message listen listen to the testifier and to the uh, Jessica, uh, testimony in the name of Jesus, Father, you these testimonies, O oh Lord, of this of, of our two testifiers to bless them, O oh Lord, and to move them, O oh Lord, Father, to do the right thing, to seek your faith, Father, and they too will come and to have testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Brethren, are you blessed? Oh, yes. Honestly, Amen. I am blessed. Look at look at our guest speaker and the look at their picture, present picture. Look at the former one. Look at them. See 360 degrees transformation. Yours too will become 360 degrees transformation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now you can see that it, it pays. To serve the Lord from room and parlor, no toilet. See, see the environment, see the environment where they are now. Look at our present state over 25 years ago. See where they were, but today, see where they are. In the and, and she and she told us that God has not finished with them yet. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy into your life that will be your own testimony as well. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. In fact, your own testimony will be bigger than this testimony in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Baba, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Once again, my wonderful sister Elizabeth, honestly, you were, you were on fire. Hallelujah. And God will refill you back in the name of Jesus. And we also want to appreciate your husband for sparing you, for allowing you, because I, I think you should be sleeping now, but your husband allow you to be who you are. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy, you sister, may you, the Lord will give you husband that will allow you to be, to be who you are in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Will give you freedom to become your, to become who you are yes. by destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. So Amen. please help us to send our greetings to him that we appreciate him. That thank you very much for uh, sparing you to be a blessing mm -hmm. to us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We thank you. All right, brethren, I think we have to go. You know, time is gone. Mm -hmm. So that by the grace of God, our next vigil uh, single will be next year because uh, we have other programs for this year. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. but, I'm, but I'm trusting God. That's why we took our time. I am trusting God that you, our brethren that are on this platform, Please, if you need a, a mobile number, a WhatsApp line, uh, please feel free. Let me know. I will, I, I will connect you to her in case you want to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. She is free. She's a counselor, a married counselor. She will attend to you. Hallelujah. And if, mm -hmm. and if you want to see me or see Pastor Yeni, no problem. We are here for you. You can see that testimony of our, of our uh, sister. Adiola, he said, Pastor Austin and Pastor Asuko, they were there for, for her. We are here for you. 
and our sister too, Elizabeth mm -hmm. from Canada, she's also there for all of us. So you need any of us. Now, even my wife too is there. Thank God for my wife too. She too has had a testimony. So if you also need her attention, she's there. If I have people that you can talk to, Sister Cordelia is there too. She's also a seasoned marriage counselor. So we are here for you. I'm trusting God that the next time we are having this single, you'll be one of those to come and testify in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. All right. So we'll meet again on Tuesday uh, slash Wednesday for our weekly program. By the grace of God, a sister from Canada is coming to minister to us next week, and it's going to be fire, fire, fire. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then, prayer for our children. It's still coming up in, in November. You know, that will be a vigil. And I'm, tr and I'm trusting God that our children will not our children will not cry over any of our mm -hmm. children. This time around, it's not going to be on, on marriage. It's going to be general. Our children will not weep over them. That's the thing. And it's going to be a praying and fasting day. We said that on the 10th level, we'll pray and fast, we'll, we'll fast and pray. Then on, then on the 12th Friday, we'll now come together, you know, as a vigil, like this, like this. Uh -huh. And on that Friday, no solid food. We'll take just fluid, either light pap or yogurt or malt or whatever, but fluid, we'll take fluid. No eba, no okele, no issue, no yam, no plantain. Yes. Because our children, we must secure them. We must secure their total, the totality of their destiny in Christ. Yes. They must become what God wants them to become. They will not take any part of them. We will not accept it. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am really, really blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Can I hear your powerful, three powerful hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 H